Hey guys, Salso here, just a quick one today. On my last video, I was showing how to bake the lighting into textures so you can do a paint over for a more painterly look. And I was getting this one pixel line across all the seams on my UVs and I didn't quite know how to fix it. I tried a bunch of things and I just gave up because I'm painting over anyways. So it wasn't a big deal for me. But thankfully, somebody in the comments had the answer. Hideau F, I think. Uh, suggested disabling the denoise to get rid of that and it did make a lot of sense so I went to try out and did indeed work. So this is my baking scene from the last video and let's test this out. So I do have my lighting going on here and um, let me turn on this thing so I can uh, see what I have selected. So I have my lighting going on, my material and I want to bake this. So this is the texture that I created. Exactly the same settings as before. And let's just do one bake here as a, an example. Okay, so baking is done. Let me change here to my flat. So I do have here flat with texture turned on. And we still have the one or two pixel line across all the seams like I had before. And again, wasn't a big deal for me because I was doing paint overs anyways. Uh, so easiest, easiest fix ever. Just gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, actually, I'm gonna create a new texture. So shift A, image texture. Uh, another thing someone suggested was to make the the color from when I create a texture here, the skin color, and I always do that anyways, and it didn't seem to have any effect. So let's say bake three, four, whatever. Uh, I do need alpha, new image. Okay, bake two is the one that we have the problem, right? Let's do a bake four now. And the only thing that I'm changing is I'm turning off the denoise and pressing bake again. So baking is done, I'm already on text review. And you can see, it's all gone. No more UV seams, let's switch to the other texture. All UV seams here, no UV seams. You can also see that all the, uh, it's a lot smoother on the one with the UV seams and a little bit more grain on the one without it. And of course, right? Like uh, the noise comes back when you turn off the denoiser. Uh, not a big deal. I can just increase the samples and wait a little bit longer to, to bake. But being honest again, for me, like I'd rather have more noise on the texture than having the UV seams to be cleaned up. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this helped someone. Um, see you next time.